and from there we just took them from there so i recorded over throughout the month of uh, october it was i think we were set to be finished by november 1st okay um, yeah yeah and i just kind of like took my time with it you know when you when you're recording at home you're making your own schedule so you know i try to put as much time into it as my voice will allow usually that's you know a few hours at a time and how many how much you get through will depend on the book um right but you, you know you don't want to tire yourself out and then have inconsistencies in how you sound from when you started to when you're like uh, just dry and tired so pacing yourself is really important and that's why you want to give yourself time one to read the book before right. you start recording because you need to know what's going on if someone uh, is introduced in chapter one and you give them a voice and then b by the end of the book they're like he said with his german accent it's like oh now i've got to redo the whole thing um so yeah you have to give yourself time to read the book research decide what you're doing for the characters before you start recording um so okay yeah throughout now uh, what was your thoughts did you get you got the ebook, right? Or you got, yeah, you could, I'm, I'm sure you got a PDF of it. Yeah, I got a digital uh, copy of the, the manuscript. Yeah. And, and what were your thoughts when you saw it, read it? Like, like wow, this is, you know, it's curveball at the crossroads. I don't, what were your initial, what, what was your initial <laughs> reaction? Well, I guess uh, going, so, you know, I originally had the excerpt for the audition. And just from that, I was like, okay, this is some crazy supernatural thing going on which is really i love that kind of fantasy element so i i knew i would like it um now i'm not a big sports fan i don't watch a lot of baseball so i didn't expect as to learn as much as i did i didn't expect there to be as much okay. of the sports content going into it so that was really interesting just reading it um just like oh wow and there's all this uh uh not really minutia it wasn't it wasn't really tedious like i felt like i was learning without being like dragged through like all this baseball stuff no it was it was actually it felt just right um reading right. it and well that's the, good to know yeah i appreciate that yeah it was it was a perfect balance of you know the plot and all this uh information supporting what's going on yeah. as far as like the sports and the game and everything but then performing it was actually a lot of fun because, you know, we have all these uh, chapters where you have this commentator uh, talking about, you know, whatever game Jamark is playing at that time. And I, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with him at first, but once it became clear that he was returning multiple times throughout the book, I was like, okay, this, this needs to be the same person because... Yeah. Even though he's playing in different places, you know, he's part of the minor leagues, major leagues all over the place. So he's playing in different places and you would think it's a local person commentating. But I I decided for the listener's sake, you know, it'll help to just have that familiar voice that will just anchor you right into the moment that, I, okay, we're hearing about the game now. And I think yeah. you know, that, that was kind of the reasoning behind that decision to make him the same each time. And I had a lot of fun doing that, just going into that old timey radio voice, and I, I loved it. I, yeah. and, I, and I really like your decision there, um, because if you changed it up every time, or you're like, "Hey, which voices should be the same? Which announcers the same?" It would have varied it up almost too much. Yeah, and the reader sees italics and regular print. And that's how they differentiate between the announcer. So there's only two, you know, right. there's only two t different types of types in the book. If that's the thing, types yeah. of types or <laughs> different types of font in the book. So for you to only have two different narrative voices, the, the narrator and the sports game narrator, if you will, you know, and an announcer. I thought that was a perfect fit. I thought that was a really awesome decision <laughs> uh, on on your half. So definitely, and and the and you, and you hit the nail on the head. The the kind of the old timey radio feel. You know, hey, welcome to the game, fans. I I, I really like because that's what I was trying for anyway. Oh, good because I I was gonna say I don't really have like I said I'm not really a sports watcher so. I wouldn't I would have I would have had to do a lot more research to connect to like what a modern sportscaster sounds like. 
Right. Um, so what I had in my head reading was just like more of a pop culture reference of like, you know, almost like a um, a uh, an auction announcer. He doesn't speak that fast, but he's kind of in that you know that 1940s period sound. You know, <laughs> so yeah. that was just a lot of fun for me to do because I I haven't done that before.